Hi, I'm Jeff Hammond. I'm here with number 29 crew chief, Todd Barrier. Well, Todd, the thing is right now, 2008's all done. You know, when you look back, I mean, like any good crew chief and team, you know, you set goals. You know, can you say that you achieved those goals? Were you pretty satisfied with 2008? Uh, you know, not really that satisfied with it, I think. Um, you know, or your first goal has to be making a chase because nowadays with that being as important as it is, a lot of sponsorship is hinging on that. A lot of things are hinging on that, so we accomplished that. But at the end of the day, I wanted to win multiple races and I wanted to lead laps and do all that, and we weren't uh, fortunate enough to pull that off. I mean, I think we were more consistent than ever, but uh, I think that also hurt us on some of our stronger places. Well, 2009 is right around the corner. What, is it, what does it look like? I just want to, um, 2009 is looking good. You know, I'm uh, looking forward to it and ready to get on with it. Um, I just want to win multiple races, you know, get out there and win races. And if we make a chase, fine. If we don't, fine. I just want to win. You know, that's the main thing. You know, that's what we're all about is winning, and the rest of it will fall where it may. Well, you talk about winning. Well, this past off-season, basically, NASCAR basically did away with testing. And, you know, what's your thoughts about that? Well, again, I, I like testing. I like being at the racetrack. I like working on things to make the car run faster. And I think we're still going to do a lot of testing. It's just, I guess everybody's short track programs are going to step up a lot, and the road, road course programs are going to step up a lot because there are places there that we can test, but there's really no mile and a half or big two-mile tracks that we can go test at. So I think we're still going to test. We're just going to test at different places. So I guess Martins will be more competitive than ever. You know, each year we got two races at Bristol, one of my favorite racetracks, a lot of history there. I mean, Whitefall's got a huge presence there. they got their track tours, so many different events. I mean, you know, what do you think about Bristol and, and all the stuff we got going on up there? Well, you know, I enjoy Bristol. Bristol's been a really good place to us. We won nationwide races there. We won cup races there. You know, everybody's on top of you. There's a lot of things going on. you got to make split-second decisions, and you know, so it's pretty cool to have Whitefall in there. And, and you were trying to do something really good for them guys to show them that, you know, they picked the right guy, we're going to go there to win the race. Another year on the Wipe All Wipers Crew Chiefs panel this year. I mean, what's your feelings about, you know, being chosen right now to do that again? Uh, it's, it's really cool to be part of that panel, you know. Um, you know, and it's nice to be able to award, like, Bob Osborne a bunch of times, like they win in all the races, you know. <laughs> Unfortunately for me, you know, we weren't smart, we weren't smart enough to pull that off. So, uh, you know, it's, it's cool to be able to come back, to be able to give back to the crew chiefs and mm -hmm. things. And, and they take a little more recognition then the drivers get a lot of it, so it's pretty. It's nice to be able, at the end of the day, vote for somebody that pulled off something and was able to get a win or a really good finish off of some gambling or things like that. So that's enjoyable. All right, I gotta know. I mean, you used the product. Your team used the product. I mean, uh, what is so? I mean, what's so great about the product, as far as wipe all wipers are concerned? Oh well, it's um, you know, something that you know, it's re it really accessible to us. We can carry it to the car. We can wipe the car off. We can do a lot of things with it that you know that you um. You get accustomed to being able to have a box by your side, being able to do things that you weren't normally used to doing. So now all of a sudden, instead of asking somebody for something, you got it beside you, and then it does a really good job. It doesn't leave a mess and cleans up a lot of messes. So well, we enjoy using it. The best thing about it for me, it's always clean. You know, you don't have to really grab one of the dirty shop rags like a lot of times you get into. And whether you're wiping the car off or just, hey, blowing your nose, it's a good thing to have yeah, in the garage. It's good for all that. Yeah.